What is up? Hope you're doing amazing out there and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today we got a first on the channel. Once again, we are looking at Bobby Gentry, Ode to Billy Joe. I don't know nothing about Bobby Gentry, but we're going to find out today. All right, guys, a couple ways you can support us. First, become a channel member right here on YouTube. If that doesn't work for you, head on over to Patreon, become a member there, or slide on over to Buy Me a Coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these gets you exclusive perks and priority video requests. And if it's your first time visiting us, we're an audio production company, and we review and analyze all things music, and we're happy to have you. All right, y'all, I'm excited. We've been going down this country rabbit hole lately. I'm not sure exactly if this is country, but we're going to find out. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, YouTube family, we are looking at Bobby Gentry, Ode to Billy Joe. I don't know nothing about Bobby Gentry. I've actually never even heard the name, uh, but a, a couple of y'all suggested it, so we're going to look into it, see what it is. Let's roll with it. I'm amped. Singer songwriters at the BBC. I was born BBC. in Chickasaw County. When I was six, we moved to another region in Mississippi called the Delta. And we lived between two rivers. One was the Yazoo, and the other was the Tallahatchie. 1968, throwing it back. It was a 3rd of June, another sleepy, dusty, delta day. Great voice. I was out chopping cotton and my brother was bailing hay. And at dinner time we stopped and walked back to the house to eat. And mama hollered at the back door, y'all remember to wipe your feet. All right, man, I'm going to stop for a second. Beautiful voice. Uh... And if you haven't checked out any of our any of our other videos, I'm new to the country game. What I love about it, and I've said this, uh, listen to George Jones and then George Strait and now uh, Bobby Gentry, is the imagery and the storytelling. This whole verse, the way she's putting all these uh, descriptors in place, it just paints you a picture. And immediately in your mind, you can see two people walking back, about to eat, washing up before dinner, kind of like a country, an old country setting. So it's crazy the type of descriptors that they use. Uh, it's just to tell the story. I absolutely love it. Let's keep rolling. Stopped and walked back to the house to eat. And mama hollered at the back door, y'all remember to wipe your feet. I love it's just her and her acoustic guitar. And then she said, I got some news this morning from Choctaw Ridge. Choctaw Ridge. Today, Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. She said, Billy Joe jumped off the Tallahassee Bridge? Tallahatchie Bridge? What in the world? Bridge. Today, Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Oh my goodness, let's get deep. And Papa said to Mama as he passed around the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, Billy Joe never had liquor since. Pass the biscuits, please. What? There's five more acres in the lower 40 I got to plow. And Mama said it was a shame about Billy Joe. <laughs> Seems like nothing ever comes to no good up on Choctaw Ridge. This is wild. And now Billy Joe McAllister's jumped off the teller. Hold on. I'm going to read this real quick. Gentry was one of the first female country singers to write and produce her own material. Super cool. All right, here's the thing, man. I got to get I got to get in the mindset. I'm I'm invested in the story right now. One thing's cool is how it's so it painted the picture they're washing up, they're coming in for dinner, and now they're discussing 
just like in a casual manner how somebody jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge and they're like throwing the lyrics in like pass the biscuits please and I gotta I gotta plow 40 acres I mean it's excellent songwriting but it's like it's like watching like a murder mystery or something or listen to a murder mystery I'm gonna rewatch that verse or re-listen to it just to be caught up I know some of y'all get frustrated when I stop it but we ain't for everybody so we appreciate you if you're here let's row Papa said to Mama as he passed around the black eyed peas. This is the wildest verse. Well, Billy Joe never had liquor since. Pass the biscuits, please. Pass the biscuits. There's five more acres in the lower 40 I got to plow. This is genius. Mama said it was a shame about Billy Joe. Seems like nothing ever comes to no good up on Choctaw Ridge. And now Billy Joe McAllister's jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Billy Joe done jumped off. Brother said he recollected when he and Tom and Billy Joe. I want to I want to read this. Ode to Billy Joe was Bobby Gentry's first hit. She described the song as a study in unconscious cruelty. Wow. All right, let's go back a little bit. We we got we got to figure out what's going on in this third verse. Next thing I know, Billy Joe's off the bridge. He jumped off. They're discussing it. It's getting wild. Brother said he recollected. He and Tom and Billy Joe. She studied philosophy, that's wild. Put a frog down my back at the Carroll County Picture Show. So they're just remembering stories. And wasn't I talking to him after church last Sunday night? I love those strings. I'll have another piece of apple pie. You know, it don't seem right. The genius thing about this is how they're th how she's throwing in like casual conversation in the midst of storytelling. It's like, oh, this, this, this. I'll have another piece of apple pie and then continue to tell the story. That's absolute genius. I'll have another piece of apple pie. You know, it don't seem right. I saw him at the sawmill yesterday up on Choctaw Ridge. She got a voice. I love her voice. And now you tell me Billy Joe's jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. No, Billy Joe. Mama said to me, child, what's happened to your appetite? Well, I've been cooking all morning and you haven't touched a single bite. What the? Hold on. Speculation remains over what Billy Joe and his girlfriend threw off the bridge and why he jumped to his death. Huh? That nice young preacher, Brother Taylor, dropped by today. He said he saw a girl that looked a lot like you up on Choctaw Ridge. And she and Billy Joe was throwing something up the Tallahatchie Bridge. I got goosebumps. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So she was up there with him? Is that what this is? That's what's going on here? And then the text said they were throwing something off the bridge? Y'all could... I'm mind blown right now. I'm like, I'm like listening to a murder mystery. What is going on? This is wild. I got to go back a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm running my mouth a lot on this one, but we trying to figure out. I got to put on my detective hat. We got to solve this. This is wild. That looked a lot like you up on Choctaw Ridge. So she's up there with you. She and Billy 
Joe was throwing something up the tail at Jibbridge. A year has come and gone since we heard the news about Big Joe. Brother Mary Becky Thompson, they bought a store in Tupelo. What? There was a virus going round, Papa caught it and he died last spring. And now Mama doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. And me, I spend a lot of time picking flowers up on Choctaw Ridge. What was that last line? I gotta catch that again. I am. I'm not sure what she's saying there. Those strings are wild. Somebody help me. What in the world? I'm confused now more than I was. So, okay. So they up there on Choctaw Ridge, or the Tallahatchie Bridge. Billy Joe jumps off the bridge after she had left. Or was she there? Did she push him? What? Or did he jump off? What were they throwing off the bridge to make him jump? Was it something he had to go after and get? Hey. I'm baffled right now. I don't know what's going on. This this is why I can't be listening to country because now I'm going to be thinking about this and now I'm going to have to do some research and figure out what's going on. Y'all got to help me out. Shoot in the comments. I'm baffled. That song was wild. That, was, that song made me more, made me think more than anything I've ever listened to. My goodness. I got to get to the bottom of this. Y'all help me out. Hope you enjoyed it. I loved it. Thanks for joining me. Thank you all so much for joining me on that one. I feel like Sherlock Holmes. I got to get to the bottom of what happened to Billy Joe out on the Tallahatchie Bridge. I mean, did Professor Plum kill him with the candlestick in the library? What's going on? Hey, that was a wild ride, but I loved it. Y'all got to shoot in the comments and help your boy out. All right, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. Thanks so much for hanging out with us each day. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.